scroll down to fetch connect. Okay. So there are another link which is the Excel historical template and fetch connect Excel add-ins. I will cover this uh, during the session. Okay. So first, just click on the fetch connect uh, hyperlink, and you will be get you will be brought on the page. So uh, we provide uh, five login ID because we subscribe to five uh, license to Fitch Connect. So if you don't have any their uh, credential yet, you can email to KMC and uh, request for their uh, login details. Okay. And also not, for, not to forget to mention your student ID and your program. So once you're in the Fitch Connect uh, homepage, just click on login. So once you have logged in, you will see this page. Okay. So in this page, there are uh, first is the search bar where you can search any any bank's name. Okay. So maybe we can try first. Okay. For example. Okay. So for example, I type in Maybank. Okay. So the system will uh search based on your keyword the research on maybank the news on maybank by fitch connect by fitch ratings okay and the entities that that contains maybank in and its uh, entity and the bonds issued by maybank okay. so since uh, maybe we we are looking for maybank in malaysia okay so you can verify okay this is maybank singapore limited which is located in singapore okay this is maybank islamic berhad which is in malaysia so maybe we can uh, look for its uh, parent first which is the malayan banking okay so the first one is malayan banking berhad this is uh, the commercial bank you, you can see the sector or the type which is the universal commercial bank and it's located in malaysia okay, so just uh, click on the link to further look on its summary or the profile okay. so this is the summary page of uh, malayan bank berhad the ultimate the ultimate parent for my bank okay here you can see the, the market sector or the type is universal commercial banks and the country of re, or region is in Malaysia. And its ultimate parent is uh, Malayan Bank Merhad. So if you are looking for, for example, you are viewing Maybank Islamic, okay, you can see the ultimate parent here is Malayan Bank Merhad. But since we are uh, looking at, at its uh, parents, so it will show you the Malayan banking Berhad. Okay. And the status is listed. Okay. This is a public company. Okay. And you can also see the uh, three uh, ratings from Fitch Ratings, Moody's, and SP Global. Okay. 
So most of the students are, are keen or more interested to look at their financial statements. Okay, so you can directly go to the financial tabs. And you can see their uh, statements for uh, on their balance sheets, income statements, ratios, and also off balance sheets. Okay. So by default, you will get uh, five years of historical data. But you can uh, see more than that. Just click on the period, just drop down, and you can extend up to 10 years. Okay. Here you can see the last seven years, which is the last seven period, and all. So once you click all, you, you will get uh, up to 10 years back. So here the, la the latest or the, the latest is 2020, 2020. And the furthest is 31st December uh, 2012 financial year. Okay. So now I am viewing the key financials. So you can see the balance sheets. Okay, this is the balance sheets for the last 10 years. 2012 until 2020. Yeah, income statement. Ratios and off balance sheet. Okay, you can explore this. Okay. And you can also choose the uh, reporting standard, whether you want it uh, in non-consolidated, uh, consolidated, and the accounting standard, which is uh, the default locating standard, whether it's local gap or IFRS. <coughs> okay. And you can also change the frequency of the reporting. We have annual, annual and interim, and also uh, in quarter. So for single individual bank, it is quite straightforward where you can export this table, all these tables to Excel. Okay, so you just click on export all tables to Excel. And Fitch Connect system will download the, the Excel file to you based on your preferences here. Okay. So now I'm downloading all the periods, which consists of the last 10 years. And I will get all the all the uh, statements, which is consists of key financials, uh, balance sheets, income statement. Ratios and off balance sheets. So I scale down here. I zoom out to have a better view. Okay, so all this is all the financial item for uh, Malayan Banking Merhat for the last ten years. So this is for single bank uh, entity search. Okay, you can try on uh, any other banks. Maybe you want to look for CIMB, uh, HSBC, uh, JP Morgan, for example. Okay. okay. So just type in any of the bank's name on this first search bar. Well, we have uh, CIMB, Islamic. But just just make sure that you are clicking or selecting the correct uh, entity and the and the correct region. Okay. For example, if for example I'm typing CIMB Islamic here, but uh, there is a Iran country or sovereign uh, is listed on the search page. Okay. So maybe you need to uh, alert that this is not an entity. 
So this is a sovereign origins. Okay, so for single bank, you can get a single bank financial statement, all the financial statements, and for the last 10 years. But our student is more keen on the on the research part where they are analyzing uh, a certain uh, variables and they want to compare that variable against um, one or two or multiple banks in a certain region or certain sector or uh, in multiple region. Okay, so how to do that? Okay, so here in Fitch Connect, you can go to and you can drop down to the advanced search and click on entities. Okay. So here you can select uh, the banks based on their type and also you can select the regions and you can further selecting your variable so that you can compare this variable against uh, certain banks. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So in this uh, data item type, you can open banks category and you can see uh, the type of banks that are available in Fitch Connect. So we have commercial banks, we have Islamic bank, we have development bank, and we have central bank and the rest. So for this uh, training session, uh, since we are uh, studying in INSEF, I will uh, try some example for Islamic banks. Okay. So. There are two ways of searching a bank. Okay, one is you are, you uh, tick the box based on the sector, and one more tick and one more, you just type the bank's name here. But since we are looking for the the banks in a group, okay, it's better to select based on this category. Okay, so. Once I check the box Islamic banks, the system will uh, automatically uh, narrow down my search okay, and give me the results on the bottom of the page. So here I can see that uh, I just check Islamic banks and the system will give me the list of Islamic banks available globally. So there are 159 Islamic banks based based on Fitch Connect. Okay. You can see the uh, market sector, the country, and whether Fitch uh, rated on or not rated this entity. Okay. Then next, I'll try to search some or select some country to compare. Okay. So for example, country, I just type uh, the country name in the search bar on the on the entity start and and in the entities box. Okay, for example, uh, Malaysia. Okay. Okay. So once again, just make sure you are you are choosing the right the right category, which is Malaysia should be in geography and not entities. Okay. Right. I select Malaysia. So. Wait. So now my cat, my uh, category search is the sector Islamic banks and category Malaysia. So the result is now being narrowed down from 159 to 16. Okay. So now we have 16 Islamic banks in Malaysia. Okay. I also can add more countries. Okay. Let's say if you want to compare against uh, Indonesia, or, the, or any other regions, you can just choose the country name here or just type the country name on the search bar. So for example, Indonesia. I don't know how many Islamic banks in Indonesia. So now Indonesia is already included in my search bar or my search results. Okay, so there are additional 10, Islam, 10 Islamic banks. So means there are 10 Islamic banks in Indonesia. 
maybe I want to add Brunei, for example. Okay, so I choose geography, right? And there are in total for Malaysia, Indonesia, and Brunei, there are uh, thirty Islamic banks. Okay. okay, so there are four Islamic banks in Brunei, uh, ten in Indonesia, and sixteen in Malaysia. Okay, so you can add uh, if you have any other country that you want to analyze. You can just add the country. Just check the box here. Okay, and then uh, based on my preferences, I will directly create a portfolio based on this uh, list of banks. Okay, there are another filtering which is the financials and credit but I will not use this uh, filtering because you can uh, this filtering is used where you want to let's say you want to get the list of of banks that are for example their total asset is above or below a certain amount okay for example I choose uh, assets. Okay, financial right. So I just choose total assets bank. Okay. <clears throat> Let's say I want uh, from all these thirty banks, I want their total assets. The banks that have their total asset above uh, 20 million, 20 USD millions, and I add this criteria. So the system will filter based on this uh, 30 banks that I have earlier, which banks that have to their total asset above 20 USD, 20 million USD. So based on this result, based on the 30 uh, result earlier, so now my my result is being narrowed down to only 24. So this on this 24 uh, banks, they are now their total asset is above 20 million USD. But I don't need that filtering. I just need the uh, any Islamic banks in these three countries. Uh, that's all. Okay, I I don't care about their total asset. But if you think or your assignment or your project require this filtering or this uh, uh, yeah, this filtering that contains uh, above certain level or below certain level, then you can use this uh, filtering. Okay. So I just delete. Okay. So uh, besides total asset, uh, there are another financial items or uh, variables that you can choose. Okay. Okay, so let's say you have done with your sectors, your country, and your uh, financial item, for example. Then you just check all the box here, or any banks that you are, uh, or any of the banks that you have chosen, <coughs> and then click on create portfolio. Okay, so just choose create a new portfolio and give your portfolio a name. Okay, any name should be okay. Just don't contain any special characters. <clears throat> Let's say I just uh, give to this date. And then you click submit and view. Okay. If you click submit, then your portfolio is being created, uh, will be created, but it will not be displayed. It will just add to their portfolio page okay, and it will not be displayed to you. Okay, so if you need to view the portfolio and uh, the list of banks is being displayed, you click on uh, submit and view. <coughs> Any questions so far? If you have any questions, just uh, unmute yourself. Okay. okay.
is my portfolio being created. Okay, now we can see that my new portfolio, which is, uh, I named the portfolio for uh, referring for today's date, is being created. <coughs> okay. Now this is all the 30, 30 banks that we have select earlier. Okay. okay. Okay, now they are showing the custom term view okay so <clears throat> there are custom views means this is we call views okay so uh, the content of the views is the variable that been selected by by the user so for example uh, this previous uh, student is using this uh, variable So this is probably the operating ROAA, ROAE, operating ROAA, and the rest. Okay. And this particular student is using a different set of variables. Okay. So how to create uh, your own variable? Okay. First, you click on this edit icon. And then create your own custom view. Okay, just click create custom view. Okay. So here you also need to uh, name your view. Okay, just because we are using a shared IDs, so uh, giving your view. A name that you can recognize is uh, quite important. Okay. So, for example, <coughs> training. Okay. So, so how to find a view? Okay, first you can select from the bank's financial category. Or you can just type your variable in the data point search. Okay. For example, the most common thing or the most common variable that uh, for banks is your yeah, total asset. Okay. We I type uh, equity. Total equity, for example. Okay. Any variable that you want to try out? Just make sure it falls under financials and banks financials. Because uh, Fitch Connect also contains data for, for, ent for other entities and also corporates and also some uh, country data, which is uh, macro level data. But our access is access to Fish Connect uh, only covers uh, banks financial da data items only. Okay. <coughs> because you can see that there are also data on industries and also data on macroeconomic. But uh, our subscription access or subscription plan does not cover this the, uh, this data. Okay. 
Okay, so maybe some gross loan for from IFRS nine. Okay. Um, okay, maybe I want to get the uh, total operating expenses. Okay. So once you have done selecting the, your your variable. Okay, so now I have five variables and then next, just click on save. Okay, so now my uh, custom views is already been created. So this is the latest uh, view. Okay. So now you can see the statement date is different. Why? Because it will display the most recent financial uh, report or financial statement. Okay. So every bank here uh, Maybe reports, uh, their reporting is different because I choose most recent. So if you want to standardize their reporting, you can choose based on the year. Okay. For example, I want to see uh, which bank that have the data up to 2020. So I just uh, choose 2020 in the period year. Okay, so this is all the banks that report their data for 20 or their financials for 2020. Okay. <clears throat> okay. And now the next part, how to get this, uh, this bank's data and this variable in historical or time series format. Do you need to click uh, each of these following year and click uh, and click the Excel icon? <clears throat> if you need just one particular year, you can go to that particular year, for example, 2016. And click the Excel icon. OK, so once you click the Excel icon, you will get uh, this. Data exactly in Excel. <clears throat> which is. Uh, this particular bank and this particular variables for 2016. But I need this data for the last 10 years because Fish Connect Web, uh, you, you can get your uh, data for the last 10 years. Okay, how to get that? Okay, you just click on this uh, looks like download icon, <coughs> but it's not download icon. It's actually you need to choose your calendar year first before you can download. So here we have the latest one is on 2020, but this is on calendar year. And we also have the interim, which is the six month or the semi annual. And we also have the quarterly data. Okay. So all these statements you can get in quarterly in six years and in yearly. So I try to choose uh, 20, uh, yearly data, this the calendar year. Okay. So your sequence of uh, selecting the years is also important. Okay. Why? Because if you select 2020 and you jump to 2018, the arrangement of your years will be according what you click. So now I click 2016 and it will follow me my sequence of clicking. Okay, so we just need to click based on the sequence. On the correct sequence. Okay, so let's say I click all the way to 20 plus. Okay. Now I click exports. So once you click export, uh, Fitch Connect will directly download the Excel file to you. It will not show you the file first. It will directly 
uh, download the Excel icon, the, the Excel uh, data for you. Okay. Now my uh, data has been downloaded. Okay, so this is the view, view name. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so now uh, this is my all three banks. All three banks from three countries, sorry. And they are total asset for 2021, 2020, up to 2012. Okay. And they are total equity from 2021 until 2012. Okay. And the rest of the variables. <clears throat> now you can see the currency is uh, based on their uh, local currency, okay? which is uh, Brunei is using uh, B BND, Indonesia is using IDR, and Malaysia is using uh, Malaysia Ringgit, which is MYR. Okay. Since we are comparing um, more than one countries. So how to standardize this uh, currency? Okay, you can standardize the currency in the Fitch Connect before you download. Okay. So there are a current currency conversion icon. Okay, next to the Excel icon. Okay. So just click on the currency conversion. Okay. So by default, uh, the currency is based on the bank's reporting currency, which is their local currency. Okay. So just drop down the, op the menu options and choose your preferred currency. Okay. Most of the time we are using US dollar. Okay. So once you uh, choose USD, then click on submit. So now you can see all the currency is now being reflected uh, to US dollar. Okay. And you can see the, uh, the rates. Okay. okay. So maybe some of you is asking uh, if you if we are downloading a multiple year period from 2012 up to 20, uh, the latest one, 2020 or 2021, which currency at, uh, rates that uh, Fitch Connect will use, whether it will use the 20, 20, uh, 2012 currency rates or the latest currency rates, okay? The answer is uh, it will use that particular year currency rates their their median rate for that particular year okay <clears throat> okay. okay so now i have uh let's say for 2021 it will use uh average uh 2021 uh currency conversion rate for 2020 it will use uh 2020 currency, the average currency for 2020, and for 2019, it will use the average currency for 2019 <coughs> based on the, the local currency of that particular bank for that particular year. <coughs> okay. okay, you can see from this uh, Forex tracks. So now I'm using uh 2016 uh, period so for example uh us dollar against uh, malaysian ringgit is 4.0225 and let's say if i choose 2012 okay so yes yes okay so 2012 uh, US dollar against uh, measure ringgit is 3.18. Okay. So it will use the uh, average uh, currency rate 
based on the year. Okay. <coughs> so, any questions so far? Before I proceed to the uh, the next part, which is the Excel uh, the Excel plugins. Uh, Assalamualaikum, sir. Yep. Salam. Uh, yeah, I, I'm Nisa. I would like to know. Previously, we do the Pits Connect uh, we, mm. just for the collect data. But I just curious about is it possible for the con Pits Connect can mm. convert to like a pie chart or bar chart? For example, we do we, we already get uh, the data uh, such as uh, total asset and so on. Mm. But is it possible in Pits Connect because I want like a uh, create for the chart or anything but i i don't know how to do by using a uh, fix connect usually we use a uh, by on excel i just want to know is it uh, can, uh, based on the data we get from fix connect okay uh, previously you can uh, there are a function to visualize your data in uh, Fitch Connect, but now this is the new interface for Fitch Connect. But so somehow I can't locate which uh, which part uh, the function has been moved. OK, I think it's on the inter interactive chart, I think. <coughs> Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it's on the interactive chart. OK. <clears throat> OK, so this is where you can uh, directly create uh, a chart based on what uh, entity and your variable that you have chosen. OK, so this is the example of the chart. So maybe we can uh, create from start. Naming, let's say naming Islamic. Oh, I need to click first. Go to living Islamic. 
and what are the and you can select their data item which is their variable so this one uh, i choose this one is roaa okay okay then maybe you can add some yeah total assets <coughs> So before you download your chart, you can have the view here. You can visualize your chart. Okay, so now this is the entity is Maybank Islamic. And the uh, variable I've chosen uh, ROAA and their uh, total assets. Okay. Next, you can uh, select the date when you want it so let's see for the last uh, 10 years oh, they have up to 30 years but i'm not sure whether they have data their data or not oh yeah still they have up to 2012 only Okay, so there are uh, a chart type. So maybe you can choose based on your preferences. So this is the column chart. I think pie chart is not that uh, suitable for, for historical data. Bar chart. Yeah. Should be a uh, column chart or pie or bar chart. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, so so here you can uh, I've covered the how to get uh, on the web, how to get the fixed connect data for single bank and single single bank uh, financial statements, and also uh, multiple banks with uh, more than one country and their historical data, up to ten years of data. But how to get uh, if you need to analyze more than 10 years of data? Okay. So if you need to analyze uh, more than 10 years of data, you need to use our the we call it uh, Pitch Connect uh, Excel, Excel add-ins or plugins. So these plugins uh, you need to download and is install on your Excel file. And once you have installed it, you will get this uh, menu functions. Okay. okay. So how to get this add-ons or, or this add-ins? Okay. So just in Fitch Connect Web, uh, just go to the support center. Okay. And then click on Excel add-in. Okay. So here you you will see the requirement and their start at start start up guide okay on using the excel add-ins okay on the right hand side you can see the excel add-ins uh the uh, add-ins to download okay so based on your laptop or your desktop requirement you can choose whether you want it uh, 32 bit or 64 bit okay so most of these today's laptop is using 64 bit okay so just download the file uh, run and install on your uh, laptop okay and once you have successfully installed it you will see the fitch connect uh, tabs on your excel <coughs> Okay, so let's proceed to to download uh, more than 10 years of bank's data. Okay. okay, so this is the template that Fitch Connect has prepared. Okay. And how to get this template? 
Okay, the template is available on this uh, menu. The template menu. Okay, and then uh, this template is called a uh, bank funda fundamental history template. Okay. So there are there are other template. Uh, if you if you, you want to explore on banks uh, data or banks template, you can select a uh, banks per analysis or full bank analysis template. Okay. So for this uh, training purpose to compare uh, multiple banks in multiple country using selected variables. Uh, and we want to extract more than 10 years of data, we will use bank historical template. And once you have is, uh, download this template, you will see the first step will show you the guide on how to use this template. So the guide is quite straightforward. Okay, first you need to select your banks based on your based on the sectors, the the country. The same step as what we have done in the web version of Page Connect. Okay. okay. Next, you will need to select the consolid consolidations, uh, the period, whether you want it. Uh, in yearly or semi-annual or quarterly, the currency. But for this template, you can only select the uh, four major currency, uh, which is uh, local currency, uh, US dollar, uh, euro and pound, Great, uh, Great Britain pound. Okay. Okay, next is uh, items. So these items refers to the variable that you have selected. Okay. okay. Uh, next, once you have select your required entities, your country, your period date, uh, frequency, currency, uh, your variables, and then just click on this download button. Okay. So without further ado, let's start. Okay. So I just clear any of, okay, so now there are no, no banks here. Okay, first we need to add entities. Okay, so just click on add entities button and how to search for entities, go to the search uh, menu. Okay, I just, to maximize. <coughs> okay, so first we need to select the sectors. Okay. For example, I'm using, uh, I, I compare Islamic banks and commercial banks. Okay. Because uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, Islamic banks in Malaysia only started around, most of the Islamic banks in Malaysia started around uh, 2000 onwards. If you need data uh, in 1990s, I think uh, only commercial banks do provide the data. Okay. So just to compare, I, I select uh, both Islamic banks and commercial banks. And maybe we can try uh, Malaysia. Okay. And then just click search. Okay, so in total there are 82 uh, commercial and Islamic banks in Malaysia. Okay. This is not the active one. This is uh, considering all the banks that have been registered before. Okay. As you can see that some of the banks here is already uh, have have merged with another banks or already in defunct. Okay. For example, Eon Bank is no longer in operating. Okay. We have uh, 
Hot Hua Bank is no longer op in operation. Okay. Okay, so for this training purpose, uh, I just select uh, all the banks here. And then click on add to template. Okay, so now all this uh, banks list has been transferred to the template that I opened earlier. Okay. Okay, next we go to the next step which is the preferences tab. You just follow the sequence, the tab sequence. Okay. <coughs> so uh, consolidation preferences uh, default. Okay, period start, maybe I can try uh, 2000. Period end, uh, 20th. Just to show that uh, 20. 12 onwards, you can get in Fitch Connect web, no problem. But how to get the data uh, prior to 2012? So I just uh, put the period end in 2012. Okay. okay, so interims, I just need the yearly data, which is year end only. Okay, currency, uh, US dollar, okay, no problem. Okay, uh, the variable, my item. So I can choose the variable in this uh, button. So I just click my item and it will uh, bring me to my item tab. This is where I can select the variable for, for this data purpose. Okay, so I just click on an item and how to get the variable list. Okay, I can go to fields. Okay. So for entity, if you need to search for entity, you need to click the search uh, button. And for the variables or the financials item, you need to go to the fields tab. Okay. Okay. So as usual, we use uh, total asset. Okay, total asset banks and maybe uh, total debt. Okay. So just make sure it's under financial, bank financial. Okay, okay, okay. Um, Some equity, common equity or total equity. Financials. Where is bank financial? Bank financial. Do they have to take common equity? Equity. Total equity. I'm not sure which is the correct one. Okay, so maybe just this five. Okay, so next scroll down and click on add to template. Okay, so now my variable has been transferred to the template. Okay, okay so let's do a recheck. Okay, so this is all the banks that have been selected. Uh, this is all the Islamic banks and commercial banks in Malaysia. Okay. So my preferences is I need data from 2000 until 20, uh, 2012. Uh, Year-end data only. So the, so the data will be in yearly. And the currency is on US dollar. Okay. And for the variable, I, okay. so variable, this is the variable that I've chosen. Total asset, total debt, equity, and total equity. Okay. okay. So let's uh, download this data.
Okay, this is the number of total banks here and only from 2000 until 2012. Okay, all data has been downloaded. So the data is in the data tab. Just zoom out a bit. Okay. So on the first column is the bank's name. So you can scroll on the right to get the uh, financial uh, item or the variable. So by default, you will get uh, all these uh, details, which is the accounting standard consolidation period, country, auditor, uh, currency, ultimate period. Okay. And these are the variable that we have chosen. Okay. We have total assets, total debt, uh, equity, uh, total equity. For the from, okay, you can verify in the period type from 2000 until 2012. So this is the uh, data for, for the first column is, uh, the first row is Afin Islamic data uh, for 2000, 2001 and the rest. So if I'm not mistaken, this is the layout for panel data. <coughs> where you have the entities and is the period will follow the entity sequence. Okay. Afin Bank, uh, 2000 until 2012. So for Afin Discount Berhad, we they only have uh, for the only one year. Okay. Afin Huang Investment Bank only from 2000 until 2012. Afin Islamic 26 until 2012 and the rest. So you can further click on if you need to see uh, which bank data on uh, the year 20, uh, 2000, you can use the filtering. So now only these banks uh, this we have 31 bank. Okay, for this is the 31 banks data for 2000. Okay, so we have up to, and these are the banks data for 2001. So here we, we also uh, show you the currency exchange rate for that particular uh, year. Okay. So let me recap the step. Okay. First, uh, you need to select your bank. Just click on add entities and go to the search button. Same as what you have uh, done in the Fitch Connect web. Okay. First, select your sector and then select your country or your geography. Okay. So once you have select uh, the country and geography, uh, click add to template. Okay. So once you click add to template, the list of banks will be transferred to your template list. Next, go to the preferences tab. So here is where you select your uh, time period and your frequency. Next, choose your currency and also your variable. So your variable is in the my item tabs. 
So you can uh, choose to go to the My Item tabs or just click on the My Turn My Item. Okay. So to add your variable, click on Add Item and the item you can select based on the Fields button. In the Fields button, You can, uh, the first uh, way is you can search in this uh, search bar. Okay. Or you can search or you can use the category or you can open the category. If you need the data from the balance sheets or income statements. So once you have uh, chose the variable, click add to template. Okay, same as what you did in the entities. So once you have uh, add your variable, just click on the download uh, the download button again. Okay, so now I just add uh, one variable. And we try to re-download the data again. Okay, so just open the data tab and we look. Okay, the this is the new variable that I have included, which is the total operating expenses. Okay, now this is the total operating expenses for this particular bank for and this particular year. Okay. Let's say you want to test whether we can get the data for 1990s. Okay, so maybe 1997, the financial crisis. I just uh, shorten the time span if it requires uh, some time to download. So let's check whether we have. OK, so we have the data since 1997 until 2000. Okay, so what banks we have in 1997? OK, we have a lot of banks actually. Okay, so we have, we still have uh, Afin Bank, we still have Bangkok Bank, Yuan Bank, Hokwa Bank is no longer in operated. Okay. Oh, Oriental Bank Berhad, I don't think this one is still operating. Southern Bank Berhad, I don't think this one is operating. Okay, and the rest. Wah, what, wah, that bank is no longer in operating. Okay, so yeah, we, if you need uh, data prior to 2012, uh, just use the Glitch Connect Excel add-ins plugins. Okay, but if you need uh, recent data, for example, the last two years, the last five years, the last 10 years, you may use the Fitch Connect uh, web, web interface. Okay, <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think we already uh, at the end of our training sessions. Is there any more questions before we end the session for today's training? Brother, just I just want to know that uh, whether this session was recorded uh, because uh, in, if you record that, please share with us. So later it may help us really to follow those things. Yeah, uh, this session is being recorded and uh, we will upload it upload to our uh, ISAF KMC YouTube account. So you can uh, refer to the recording session in the future. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much. No problem. Okay, if there is no further questions, I end this, ses this session with uh, thank you. Uh, thank you for your time to attend this uh, training session. I know uh, some of you may have uh, time differences and uh, not in Malaysia. Uh, with that, uh, Assalamualaikum and 
uh, see you again in our next training session. Thank you. Thank you so much.